hi. Have a look here. The building. Actually, it's not so uh, looking like very beautiful from here, but it's only because I'm sitting far away. Actually, this house has a unique history. This house has a unique name and I'll tell you everything. But before that, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm today here, not alone, but as usual with my paper, with my paints and with myself. Hello? <laughs> my city has a very long history, 2,500 years old. It has three names. It was found by ancient Greeks and it was called Kirkinitida. Then it, has, it had a big Tatarian heritage during the Tatar uh, uh, government. It was called Vizlev or Vizlev. And Empress Catherine II called this city Yevpatoria, devoted to uh, the ancient Greek Tsar governor Mitridat Yevpater. So my city now has the name Yevpatoria. Very rich history and very interesting architect. Now I'm locked in my city due, due to this virus. We are all locked in our cities, but I can just um, study it. Although I was born here and live my life here, but I didn't know many things and I'm now reading and traveling, exploring it. I don't only want to paint it and draw it for you, but I also want to let you know many things which are pretty exciting. So let me start. We had a very interesting architect in heritage. We have different styles here, but most famous my city is for modern style, which was uh, here dominated during the beginning of, of 20th century. So it was before Russian Revolution. Very many talented architects built here. Fantastic houses. One of them is here in front of you. It's called Villa Kok. Kok, just a husband of a hen, a father of a chicken. Yes, it had such a name. In my city, it was a good tradition to call the names of two villas, to give the names. For example, we have Villa Rosa, we have uh, Villa Lux. These are the old ones. From the new ones, we have Villa Arcalia, Villa Dagmar and many others. And it's a very good to give the names to the houses because in this case, they really have soul. This house has a very interesting history. Built in 1908, it survived during Russian Revolution and was given to people. It was divided into parts, like everything during that time. But in 1951, it was, can you imagine, it was transported from the location it was built in to another one. Actually, this is not the historical location. It's the place it was transported to. It was built a bit more far away there, but not so far. During 1951, the government, Soviet government decided to build on that place new buildings and they decided that it was an heritage, a cultural and heritage to transport it here. If you could see the old photos, this pink building didn't exist. So it was looking like a real castle in French style. It's a mixture of the styles actually, and I have just been inside. It's very exciting. So I decided to paint it as it was. I'm not capturing this new pink building. No, I'm trying to recreate it how it was when it was built. It's a really, really miracle house. As soon as I finish, I'm going to show you the final result, as I always do in the community page on my channel. And you can buy this painting as well as the other ones. And thank you, dear people who buy it. Yesterday, one of the pictures was sold to Japan. And that's amazing. Summer has started. I wish you inspiration. I wish you fantastic summer. And look around. You are living in a mirror. Just find it. 
Love you. Yours, Xenia Simonova.